dear students today we will do exercise 4.1 so let's start dear students here we have some apples total number of apples is 7 and the red apples are 5 so dear students let's find out the fraction of red apples here first of all we will find denominator Total things or quantity of a group is known as denominator. Here total things means total apples are 7. So 7 is denominator and special part of the whole is red apples. The number of red apples is 5. So dear students fraction of red apples is 5 upon 7. 5 is denominator and 7 is denominator. Let's find out the fraction of green apples. Out of total 7 apples, 2 apples are green. So dear students, to find out its fraction, first of all we will find denominator. That is, total things means total apples and the total number of apples is 7. It is the denominator and special part means green apples are the denominator which is 2. So dear students, fraction of green apples is 2 upon 7. On the basis of fraction of groups, let's do sum number 1. Dear students, out of the following group of stars, write fraction of colored stars. Dear students, total stars are very good, 9. And how many stars are colored? Very good. We have four stars which are colored. Dear students, so the fraction of colored stars is special stars which are colored one. And upon total stars, so fraction is four upon nine. Where four is numerator and nine is denominator dear students now we will find out the fraction of stars without color so total stars are nine and how many stars are without color here very good five stars so the fraction of stars without color is special part which are without color stars upon total stars means 5 upon 9. Here 5 is numerator and 9 is denominator. Dear students, let's do sum number 4 of exercise 4.1. There are 12 balls in each of the following box. Color the balls according to given fraction in the box and write number of colored balls in blank box. Dear students, First of all, we will do part number A. Dear students, total number of balls is equal to 12 and the given fraction is 1 upon 2. It means we will divide these balls into two equal parts and we will color one part of it. So dear students, now we have divided these 12 balls into two equal parts. Now we have colored one part of it. The number of colored ball is very good. The number of colored ball is 6. Dear students, now fraction is 1 upon 3. It means out of 3 equal parts, one part should be colored. So let's divide these 12 balls into 3 equal parts. Dear students, now we have colored one part of these balls. So the number of colored ball is 4. Now the given fraction is 1 upon 4. It means we will divide these balls into 4 equal parts and we will color one part of it. Dear students, now we have divided these balls into 4 equal parts. Dear students, let's color one part of it. Dear students, now we have colored one part of it. Number of colored ball is 3. It's time for pass preparation. In the following diagram, find 
द फ्रैक्शन ऑफ कलर्ड आइसक्रीम्स डियर स्टूडेंट्स आवर ऑप्शन ए इज फाइव अपॉन फाइव ऑप्शन बी टू अपॉन फाइव ऑप्शन सी फाइव अपॉन थ्री ऑप्शन डी थ्री अपॉन फाइव डियर स्टूडेंट्स हेयर वी हैव टोटल फाइव आइसक्रीम्स आउट ऑफ दीज टू आइसक्रीम्स आर कलर्ड सो फ्रैक्शन ऑफ कलर्ड आइसक्रीम इज स्पेशल पार्ट ऑफ द होल अपॉन टोटल थिंग्स विच इज टू अपॉन फाइव सो डियर स्टूडेंट्स आवर आंसर इज ऑप्शन बी टू अपॉन फाइव Dear students now it's time for homework Dear students do all sums of exercise 4.1 from page number 88 and 89 thank you